Drink my whiskey without a chase. You think that drinking's a sin, but we've been brothers since we were eight. So let's have a toast with tea and gin. I think we're all gonna be okay. You think our time is up? We are different, but still the same. You can't say that again. Don't care whatever you are. Everyone's got their opinion. Who am I not to believe them? Although we're different, you're still a friend. Tell myself. Gentlemen, each to his own. But be your man. Although we're different, you're still a friend. Tell myself one man's poison's another man's medicine. One man's medicine. Whoa. Yo, 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 what up? So right now I'm in Kuusamo, up north in Finland. And the weather is pretty amazing. It's like very rare that it's this good. But yeah, I'm here to shoot a commercial for a bike rental company like a electric mountain bike so fun but yeah more on that later and yeah today i want to talk a little bit about fpv droning a few days ago i had my first fully manual flight and it went pretty good except for in the end i cut some grass like this yeah so if you don't have any idea about fpv it's first person view droning flying and in my opinion it's the closest you get to flying without flying but you get the experience and it's pretty cool and the footage is also pretty cool but the only thing that that's kind of annoying is it's pretty steep learning curve you have to practice a lot and the way I think the best way to do it is practice with a simulator and there are many different simulators but the one I use is uh, DRL Sim it's drone racing league it's used for practicing like racing but you can also just free fly there and it's, uh, it's pretty nice so if you if you want to start you should just get a controller it's best to get an fpv controller because the throttle is from zero to hundred and not, not positioned in the middle you can use a playstation or xbox controller but it's a little bit more difficult with that so i suggest you get an fpv controller and start out with that when you start the simulator it's gonna be super annoying in the beginning it's like the first few hours is mostly gonna be crashes and trying to figure out how to actually use the controller and how it works because it's totally different than than normal drone flying and 
I think, and it was said to me also that you should at least do 10 hours of simulator training before you even try out a real drone in real life. And I think 10 hours, I think I have about 12, 13 hours now and I, I feel pretty confident in the simulator, but in real life it's totally different. So you should definitely put the time into training all your skills. It's very small movement, it's very delicate, delicate controlling. I use the DJI FPV and I think that's for sure the easiest way to start FPV because normal like old school FPV it's super difficult to even just land back and not crash the drone and with the DJI FPV it's pretty easy when you just switch mode and then it flies like a normal drone. So I suggest if, especially if you want to fly like outdoors, bigger, bigger lines, bigger curves, the DJI FPV is, in my opinion, really good. And it's, it's safe. You have the stop button that you can just stop if you think you're going to crash. So. It saves a lot because it's not it's not cheap. It's an expensive drone and you don't want to crash it. If you have any questions or comments about FPV, if you have an opinion, I would like to hear it. And otherwise, I think that's it for me this week. I hope you enjoy the footage and See you next week. Peace out.